Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. And now, celebrating 15 years of broadcasting, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Whether you're tuning in on the radio dial here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM or at the WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could join us. Also, those tuning in to online affiliates around the world, we're glad that you all could join us as well. Our next guest is joining us live today from the U.K. I'm really excited to welcome Powell Trepon to our program today. We're going to talk to him not only about his love of music, but also his love of life. Now, Powell and I actually connected through a mutual friend, Evan Carmichael of the Believe Nation, We're going to talk to him about his connection with Evan, but also about a recent workshop he attended in Toronto, what he was able to take away from that, and, of course, what he's been able to share with others. Powell, hello to you, and welcome to the program. Hello. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hey, really excited to to speak with you. Hey, the the pleasure is definitely all mine. So let's start off with where we are today. As I said, you and I were connected through Evan Carmichael. Uh, You were able to to travel to Toronto, uh, Canada, to be able to attend his workshop there. What has this experience been like for you, uh, Powell, to be able to take your love of music and to uh, correspond it with your love of life and lessons of life? We did, yes. I mean, um, it's it's truly amazing experience, you know, to go there, I was, I was, I was actually um, debating with myself. You know, shall I invest all this money, uh, which, you know, it, it was a, it's a lot of money, you know, for me to spend, you know, to go for the event like that, and not knowing what I'm going to be able to achieve after. Um, right. But it was definitely worth every penny. Um, meeting all these people, not not only Evan there. Um, meeting all of the coaches and and all of the students as well you know um it's such a big good influence and it makes makes your life turn around and and just like start from the beginning <laughs> i was right. like um so i was i was I was sure I want to go for the music. I'm, st- I'm still like in love with the music because I play, I sing, I, I, I make music and all this. You know, I teach music as well. But right. um, I also found out that I can be capable to do other things. Like I was, I'm, I'm very good at coaching people as well, which I didn't see. But the people who watched me throughout this three days workshop with Evan. Um, said to me, God, you know, when you speak to us, you, you're just building us up. Um, you're just motivating, not knowing about it, you know. So right. um, I, I definitely found the other side of myself as well, not only not only the music side, but, but yeah, I, I do recommend to anyone who wants to change their life uh, to go there and, and meet up with Evan and everybody else. I mean, the next workshop is um, by the end of September, which I've already got my holiday or, uh, at work booked um, to, to, to attend. I don't have the flight yet, but I'm going to do my best to attend it and, and meet these people again because I'm full of ideas and, you know, this is just, like, so motivating. Anyone who wants to change their life and, and get get better life should go there and attend it. Well, you know, I definitely would agree with you about the opportunity there, um, Powell, for sure. You know, I want to talk about this experience for you because one thing I noticed when I was prepping for your segment is that it is so interesting to me. It's very obvious for anyone who follows you on Instagram that music is mm-hmm. a very big part of your life. However, I love the fact that along with the music, you're able to share these powerful messages. A great example of that was on May 23rd. Um, you made a post. Uh, it was a, a meme with yourself writing, and it said, don't limit yourself to the homework you've been given. Do more. And in the comment section you wrote, it's good to be one step ahead from the others. Force yourself to work harder to succeed quicker. What has it been like for you to remind yourself of those things and to see the way the people are responding to those reminders. Uh, that post was actually based on on my life 
uh, life story, you know, because um, I still work um, on the, I still got my day job uh, to attend eight hours a, a day, five five days a week. But over the weekends, um, I teach kids how to sing, how to play keyboards, how to play guitar. You know, they come here and we uh, we all spend brilliant time together having fun and you know learning at the same time and so that motivation um in me it's coming from you know from those lessons so thinking about motivating people i'm thinking about my little kids students you know um let's make it obvious they're not my kids you know they're just my students um <laughs> right. so so I'm trying to make, motivate them saying, you know, if, because it's, at the first stage, you know, I'm trying to demotivate them. Make, make, I just want to make sure they know what they're going for. So I just try to demotivate them. We've got this and this much to do. You don't really want to do it. But if they say they do want to do it, they sign in the contract with me. And then I'm starting to motivate them starting to make them realize if if you want to get to the success fast you need to practice more than the average person so if if i give you the homework i don't only accept, ex expect you to do this homework do do something else do something else that i didn't ask you about you know surprise me and they always come and they always surprise me and, and the, 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 the pace they learn is just amazing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a teacher um, by trade, but um, I've been playing, you know, for like most of the time in my life. I'm 33 year old. I, I was when I got my first keyboard, so I've spent a bit of time with music. Um, and when I'm comparing myself to these kids, I'm just, I'm just so amazed, you know, and that makes me proud so proud of myself and those kids you know at the same time because you know faster they learn that means i'm doing the good job and the the, the you know the smiles and, and that that sh that that star in their eyes is just telling you everything that that's just priceless you know <laughs> it's brilliant right yeah, and, and I think, too, the other side of that is that, I mean, you not only know that you're making a difference, um, Powell, but also, of course, that, you know, that they're getting something from it. You know, the correlation between music and, I think, you know, life, I think, is so important. And I love the fact that that even comes out um, in, your, in, in your post. There's another post you made on June the 5th. Uh, it's you playing the guitar, and the post said, focus on things that really matter for you. And you wrote in the comments, don't worry about people looking at you to try to judge you. Focus on things that are really important to you. You know, did that, that correlation, that parallel of lessons that you learned from being good at music, like what you're sharing with your students, did you realize how many of those were life lessons that you were sharing with them too? I mean, I, we we don't really care how many people uh, follow us and who 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 like us and who don't like us, because you know you're always going to get the group of people that will love you, and you always always get some people that will uh, laugh at you or point at you and and you know hate you. But this is this is this is life. Not everybody will like you, and not everybody will love you, and you know so you've got to respect both of the sides. You've got to be happy. You've got your 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 haters because your haters will make you more creative. Your your lovers, you just have to keep keep doing you know stuff that will keep them happy. And you know whatever it's actually like you know whatever you post, whatever you make something new, they will always be happy. But my job is you know my my goal is to get whatever I get the the message from haters. They motivate me, you know. Right. Whatever they say is wrong, I get motivation out of it. So it, it's giving me that extra kick. That's what I'm passing to those kids as well, you know. I'm, because, you know, when I, when I first got on the stage, I just got stiff and I, I didn't do anything, <laughs> you know. I mean, no one was laughing because I was just like a 10-year-old kid, but that was that stage fright. What I'm doing with them now, 
um, I'm just trying to get familiar with them. We turn lights on, studio lights, you know, we turn cameras on every every lesson. We take a lot of pictures from, you know, professional cameras and, you know, DSLR, so it looks as professional as it, as it only could be, just to make them um, used to this feeling, you know, people are watching. Get used to it. And, you know, when you jump on the stage, you just, you just do your best, and just get the best possible performance you, you could ever do. So yeah, they they do they do a good job, yeah. <laughs> Which I think yeah, and I'm doing a good job as well. <laughs> well, exactly, you are, and it's because of your good job I think that they're able to realize what's possible for them. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. Excited to be welcoming live today uh, from the UK, Powell Treff onto our program today. We're talking with him not only about his own love of music, but also the love of life, what it's been like for him to connect with like-minded individuals, like with the Believe Nation, and then, of course, to be able to share what he's been able to learn from others. One of the things I've been asking people about recently, uh, Powell, is about fear. How have you been able to overcome the fear that many people feel when it comes to trying something new? Uh, mate, you know, it may be not a fear, but I mean, it is a fear. It's a fear of rejection. That's what I was always, you know. You know, if Evan didn't tell me to text you, I would never, ever do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, we on during that workshop, we, we on, on the last day, on the day three, which I still wasn't sure if I if I if I was going to attend it because uh, the price for for two days was was lower than for three days. But I thought, you know what, I'll sort it. You know, I, if I want to go, I want to go for whole set because probably if I won't attend on the third day, I'm going to miss something big, and I won't. <laughs> so we've yeah exactly you know, and we we've, we've gone um, through this set of exercises with uh, with this with two um, firefighters from uh, Florida. Um, they they would make us um, like a signs with free hugs, free selfies, and high five, and we just came out on the street and had to you know engage with people and get this high five, get this free hug, get this free selfie. You know, th- th- there was many people that you know was happy to you know to do it, but obviously not everybody. That was a purpose to get used to the rejection and, and, you know, understand that they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting your offer. So uh, the other one was uh, Tragic Magic, which was, I found it, I found it so stressful. You know, it was, uh, you, you got a set of playing cards and you, you approach the person on the street and you ask him if you, if, if you can show uh, the, the magic trick. You know you're not a, a magician, so there's no magic in it at all, you know. Um, so the person agrees, yes, and I want to see your magic. So choose the cards. He's choosing the cards. He's remembering it, putting it in the middle. You toss and turn in. Everything's good. And then um, you, you pull out the card and you say, this is this card. And obviously the person says, no, it's not. And you say, oh, my goodness, you know, I'm still learning. I'm trying my best, you know. Some people would laugh at you. Some people would just say, oh, don't worry, keep trying, keep learning, and you, you'll get where, wherever you want to do, you know. And that makes this, this, this set of exercises made me honestly forget about fear of rejection, you know. Mm. There, there, there's, there's no such a thing. Now I'm doing for fun. I'm, I've started on Monday, um, a seven days of rejection challenge. So every day I've got to be rejected at least once. And so I'm, I'm doing the job for now. So Monday I got rejected, yesterday I got rejected, and today I got rejected, you know. Today, for example, I went to the cafe, I asked for, about, for, for, for the coffee, and uh, the guy said, yeah, sure, what coffee do you want? Black one. I said, um, you know, w- w- would it be all right if I make the coffee myself? <laughs> and he just looked at me, saying, no. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Got rejected. <laughs> I mean, there is, a fun, there is a fun part of it, you know, but... More you do with it, more you get familiar with it. So yeah, I think it's brilliant, you know. Right. Well, I think that is a great reminder for us too, not to allow the rejection to stop us, not to allow the no oh, to stop for us. It. I think pray that yeah, for it. go for it. You know, yeah. the more rejection you get, more success you get in your life. Yeah. 
I think that's it. So, um, so let me ask you about the what's next. And we know that music is the driving force for you. What would you like to see happen for yourself next this year? Um, so next, I'm, I'm obviously um, I'm still learning and still, you know, testing all um, Instagram stuff. So I'm I'm doing this quite um, quite actively now. Um, I'm preparing set of uh, tutorial videos on on YouTube for for my students and for everybody else out there, um, because they're uh, they they only like two and a half to four minute videos. So I'm I'm just going to prepare every every chord for the guitar and I'm just going to upload it as um, as a playlist, uh, which is going to be a surprise. <laughs> okay. My, I'm just sure nobody from my uh, from my people uh, probably is listening to it. Well, maybe Boya from yesterday. <laughs> Shout out to him. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on them tutorials. Um, I'm gonna post at least once, two twice a, a week. Um, my singing and playing covers uh, just to keep my YouTube channel uh, quite busy. And on the side i'm going to i'm going to take a course and uh, get ready for uh, um life coaching because right. um i think i think this is going to be my next big challenge behind the music right which i'd love to do well i yeah, well, I think that that is a cool thing to be able to watch the journey as it unfolds for you, um, um, Powell. And and I really appreciate you being able to come on the program and to talk with us about it for sure. Again, everyone, uh, Powell Treffon has been our guest uh, talking with us not only about the journey to doing what he loves, what it's been like for him to share lessons through music, but also, of course, adjust and also the power of, of trying. I mean, I think that is the big thing, knowing that nothing is possible unless you try. So the important thing is that's to start it. trying today. You know, yeah, because you never know what's going to happen. That's it. You know, lately I've, um, I've listened to uh, to an audio book uh, of of David Goggins can't hurt me and you know th- this 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 changed my life too you know it, it's, it's just given me power every morning I'm listening to it at least for an hour I'm listening to to this book for the first time and it's so funny because every time you you just um, uh, get something new out of it even though you've heard it a couple of times before. But um, this is a big motivation. You know, I'd recommend everyone to read or listen to this book. David Goggins is, is mixed with the podcast on the audiobook. And, and it's just amazing, you know, how, how you can get to success through all this pain. You know, people giving up because of the pain. But, you know, actually this pain is building you up, building your strength. You know, so so that pain is is for the reason that you know, and you should never give up when you feel the pain. That pain means you should go for more if you want to get to success. So yeah, it's brilliant. Nothing well, can stop me. <laughs> And I think that that's the cool thing, remembering that that's the truth for all of us, that nothing can stop us but ourselves. And so if we remember that, you know, we'll, we'll realize, of so course, that we, we have brain. the responsibility for sure. So, uh, Powell, let our audience know, how can they stay connected with you? Oh, yeah, you can you can catch me on uh, on Instagram uh, under Powell, Powell Trefon. I mean, it's from Poland, so P-A-W-E-L Trefon. Uh, that's, that's the main... Um, main place where you can find me also on uh, on facebook on the paths on p-a-v-s-o-n um i'm doing my uh, my music stuff on on facebook but yeah motivational stuff and uh, and music all together on on instagram so yeah feel free to you know to t- direct message me and we, we can we can have a chat we can we can video phone call whatever if you if you like this 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 chat with me and Cyrus people, you know you can you can feel free. You know I, I'm always open to new, new conversation with new people. It's um, it, it's a very good experience in your life, and, you know exchanging um, your thoughts. You know so you're more than welcome to hook up with me, guys. All right. Well, Powell, again, congratulations to you, and thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. 
Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate that more than you. <laughs> well, look, I am glad to hear that, and we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music as well as a great book. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's make it a great one.